In today's Health Watch, for people who stutter, the challenges in communication and your confidence can be profound. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us how a breakthrough discovery is giving renewed hope. About 3 million people in the U.S. have a chronic stutter, including President Joe Biden and actors James Earl Jones and Bruce Willis. There's currently no cure, but a recent discovery is putting researchers a step closer to one. Communication, socioeconomic status, and even employability. The challenges for people who stutter are profound. Some believe those who stutter have lower intelligence or the stutter is a result of childhood trauma. This has all been proven to be false. The one thing we know about stuttering is that it is absolutely genetic. Now, researchers have been able to pinpoint some genes that are associated with stuttering. These include genes linked to a dopamine pathway. Suggesting that there might be something about how the brain is processing and signaling that could be disrupted in, in stuttering as well as genes associated with how hormones are regulated and processed in the body. And we're able to identify almost 10,000 people who our algorithm, algorithm predicted might stutter. Including co-author of the study, Robin Jones. The stuttering that I had, you know, it began around four years of age. For people who stutter, they know exactly what they want to say, but they're not able to say it. And now this may be the first step in giving them that voice. Communication is a quintessential aspect of the human experience. Hopefully, you know, by doing this work, we'll be able to develop treatments. Treatments that improve the lives of people who stutter. Professor Bellow says children who stutter are roughly half boys and half girls. However, girls are more likely to recover from their stutter as they hit their pre-adolescent years. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.